Chances are most Americans are already consuming futuristic foods. Genetically modified crops were introduced into our food supply in the 1990s. Aqua Bounty, the biotechnology company that created this new designer salmon, predicts a future of even more genetically modified animals in the food supply. With production now underway in the U.S., the company looks to win public approval. Deep in the heartland, in a small town about 10 miles northeast of Muncie, Indiana, is this not-so-typical farm. Inside these buildings, salmon are growing. They are the first bioengineered animals in the United States approved for human consumption. Um, obviously, don't touch the fish. Aqua Bounty, the biotech company that owns and runs this 40-acre complex, takes the I-Team inside the operation. Security and sanitation safeguards required as each building is entered and exited. Under strict guidelines, live fish can never leave this farm because of fears they could damage the wild salmon population. Sign into that book, please. The imported salmon eggs coming from Canada have to clear U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service inspections at Chicago O'Hare Airport. When the I-Team visited the farm last month, thousands of eggs from the first batch were springing to life. There's about 8,000 in here. This product, called Aqua Advantage, is Atlantic salmon modified with DNA from Chinook salmon and a fish called an ocean pout. The result, according to the company, a fish that can be eaten sooner because it grows faster, reaching roughly 10 pounds in 18 months. Right now, conventional salmon are giving the farm 70,000-gallon tanks a test run until the GMO fish are ready to move in. Our fish was really designed for land-based farming. Aqua Bounty CEO Sylvia Wolf says the patented fish is nearly identical to Atlantic salmon with the exception of one gene. She says it's safe to eat, good tasting, requires less feed and fewer resources and will help ease overfishing of wild salmon. We're all about transparency. We want consumers to know where their food came from and how it was raised. The FDA regulates genetically modified animals as drugs. The agency has determined the aqua bounty salmon is safe to eat. The U.S. Department of Agriculture is in charge of labeling. Mandatory compliance for labeling in the U.S. doesn't start until 2022, although the fish could be for sale here by 2020. Those disclosures do not have to be stamped on the packaging. They can be included in a code that must be scanned by a shopper's phone to find out if the product is bioengineered or contains bioengineered ingredients, which advocacy groups say could be confusing. We would like it to be clear on the pack labeling and on your restaurant menu if the company is able to hide the fact that it is selling genetically engineered fish. That's a problem. Wolf telling the I-Team her company plans to voluntarily put bioengineered food labeling on its packaging starting in 2020 and will work with food suppliers to ensure the origin of the fish is clear to the public. The Center for Food Safety and Industry Watchdog Group is asking U.S. retailers to pledge not to sell the fish and along with other organizations is suing the FDA, challenging the agency's authority to approve GMO animals for use as food. We have a lawsuit that says, among other things, that FDA doesn't have the legal authority in the first place to approve the fish. In a court filing, the FDA maintains its authority to approve the fish, but the agency declined to comment on the litigation. Aqua Bounty expects restaurants and food service companies to be the first to serve up its patented catch. We've now paved the path for other bioengineered animals. Even though the company plans to encourage food suppliers to be upfront about the use of the bioengineered salmon, the disclosure rule doesn't apply to restaurants or food service venues, which means you could order the altered salmon in a U.S. restaurant and not know it. Aqua Bounty expects the salmon now being raised here to be on the market later next year. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.